Hi friends, working with some devices, we don't often guess that every day we we'll risk our health and even life. So today you will watch a video about the top deadly radio components and not only. Our top list begins with these switches. They were produced starting in the middle of the last century and were mainly used in military equipment. They have a very reliable design and excellent switching capabilities. If you need a reliable, durable and powerful power switch, it's difficult to find a better option. In such switches, contacts are made of silver and so they are often bought up and dismantled by people who try to get precious metals. But the most interesting thing about these switches is that they are tip close in the dark due to the component behind the glass. And that component in old samples of these switches include radium-226. Yes, a real radioactive nucleotide which is naturally deadly. In the middle of the last century, radium, and generally radiation, was sometimes thought to be curative. There were many medicines based on radium. In the 50s and 60s, even the numbers and arrows on the dials of the clock were covered with a composition that included radium. This was used not only in the USSR, but also in the West. The case of the so-called radium girls working on the production of watches was known. They manually covered ancient parts with that composition, periodically strengthening the brush with the lips. Naturally, after receiving a huge dose of radiation, later they all died of cancer. If you have somewhere such a similar or analogous toggle switch whose tip glows in the darkness, it's worth checking it since the radium component was used only in old samples. Hold the switch for a couple of minutes in the sun and then leave it in a dark box. After a few hours, open the box. If the tip is glow, immediately dispose the toggle switch, since it's radioactive. In the newer samples, a temporary light luminescence was used. They are not dangerous. Well, now a commercial break. If you are fond of electronics, then for sure you create printed circuit boards at home. The company GLC is one of the leading manufacturers of printed circuit boards of any complexity and size. They will make boards for you for only $2 per lot of 10 pieces. Your order will be ready within 48 hours from the date of receipt. Just go to the company's website, download your file at Gerber format, pay and that's all. A link to the site and to the video with a detailed description of the manufacturing process of the boards can be found in the description. Next are radio components based on beryllium ceramics. Beryllium ceramics are very durable and are used till now. It is used somewhere as a protective cap for a crystal or as a housing for microchips. Ceramics itself isn't dangerous, but its dust is extremely toxic. Getting into the lungs causes an extremely serious lung disease, beryllisis. Therefore, thoroughly wash your hands after working with such a radio component and never nag or meal such ceramics. Many people in the pursuit of gold thoughtlessly dismantle such components without any precautions. I hope after watching this video the situation will change. It also should be pointed out that beryllium ceramics is used particularly in radio components containing precious metals. These are, as a rule, high-frequency transistors, microchips for computers of the old type. Next are alkaline batteries. Such batteries are long-lasting and in the past they had a very wide field of application but in the present they were replaced by lithium-ion batteries. Such batteries are basically of two types, nickel-iron and nickel-cadmium. They are not afraid of frosts, can give off pretty large currents, have a long service life, their most basic lack of memory effect. With the advent of lithium batteries, they became unnecessary and they were thrown into garbage. But the worst thing is that they contain extremely toxic cadmium. In urban landfills, 
these batteries will be decomposed over time and cadmium salts will fall into the soil. Once got inside the body, cadmium slowly but surely kills the victim. The strongest pains in the bones, joints, fractures, deformation of the spine, and much more. I have a kind request that you will give for recycling all depressurized nickel cadmium batteries that you will find at home. Also, nickel cadmium batteries can be found among ordinary batteries of the usual standard. They were used in old screwdrivers and so on. Just look at the label. If you find this inscription and the battery is in the killed state or worse, already unsealed, immediately dispose of it and rinse thoroughly everything with which it was contacted. Many countries have long since given up of nickel-cadmium batteries because of their danger. But if the battery is in good condition and not damaged, you could let it still serve. And finally, fluorescent lamps. About their danger, I think, many know. A few more years and the world will completely abandon such lamps. The reason is appearing of the LED lighting, which is safer, economical, and at the same power give more useful light. Fluorescent lamps contain mercury vapor. When replacing them, you must be extremely careful not to break the lamp, as in this case it is much more difficult to prevent the consequences, as mercury will evaporate, then we inhale them. If by chance such a lamp is broken in a room, open all the windows and carefully ventilate. Collect all the parts of the lamp using gloves. On this, the video has come to an end. In the description, there will be links to our groups and to my Instagram. If you like the video, please rate it as your favorite. On this, I have to say goodbye. Until new meetings, with you as always was Kasyan TV.